Okay, I'm sure you can get a thumbnail from that. Hello everybody, welcome to Experiment P16. My name is Jordan, and if you've seen any of these videos in the past, you'll notice that we're in a little bit of a different location today. So, currently in Florida, on vacation. Um, so look forward to those videos coming soon from the trip that we've just been on. Uh, but we wanted to do a little bit of a taste test because found out a long time ago that Mountain Dew released um, an alcoholic version of some of their flavors of drinks and been trying to get them for a while couldn't find them anywhere um, found out that they were available in Florida and we managed to pick some up in Publix and they do four flavors as you saw by the thumbnail so they do a watermelon which is this one here they do a black cherry which I imagine is going to be a little bit like the, the, the code red. They do Baja Blast. Focus, there we go. Which anybody who loves a Taco Bell loves a Baja Blast. And then they do just the original Mountain Dew, which is that one there. Now, all of these are zero sugar. Um, every single one of them is 5% alcohol. I imagine these are going to be a little bit like a like a wine cooler or an algo pop um, if you're from the UK but we're gonna try them and we're gonna rate them um, what I think my favorite will probably be either the original or the the black cherry if this is like cold red because cold red Mountain Dew for a long long time was my absolute favorite drink so I think this will be my favorite then this one then probably this one and then last but by no means least Baja Blast so that's what we think but who knows we've been wrong before so I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna start with Baja Blast I'm gonna work up to the one that I think I'm gonna like the most so here we go, let's start. Baja Blast, always give it a tap to make sure it doesn't fizz. All right. It smells like Baja Blast. Hmm, all right. Cheers. Wow. So it tastes exactly like a Baja Blast, which is great. Um, the one thing that I'll say is, I mean, you can't taste any alcohol, which again, I like, um, although it's very dangerous. So be very, very careful if you ever get these. The only thing I'll say about this one, and I've got a feeling it's probably gonna go the same way for the other three, is it kind of tastes like a flat Baja Blast. Um, and I think that is down to the fact that it's got zero sugar in it. Um, I don't know. I, I think that's the only thing that I can put it down to. Um, it's nice. Don't get us wrong. I could finish that one. But we're not going to because we're going to move on to the next one. And the next one that we have is the Mountain Dew Watermelon. Okay, so... Again, tap, tap, tap to make sure it doesn't fizz. All right. <clears throat> now, 
Mountain Dew did release a, um, a watermelon soda not long ago, um, a, a watermelon, watermelon flavour um, of their drink. And it was nice, but again, it was very, very sweet, um, which kind of meant that for me personally, I could, you know, I, I, I bought it to try. I don't think I would buy it again. Um, it was just overpowering. Um, this smells exactly like that, um, but let's give it a go. Ooh. Oh my goodness. You would like this one, the watermelon one. If you, if you could freeze this, like, like a slushy freeze, this is like a less alcoholic watermelon margarita. I'm very surprised that might, that might take over some things. Hmm, all right, so up next we have the Mountain Dew Black Cherry, which like I said, I'm hoping is going to be like Code Red Mountain Dew. If it is, this could be my favorite. If it's not, I hate cherry. I hate like cherry flavored drinks. I know Code Red Mountain Dew is basically cherry flavored, but to me, doesn't taste like cherries, which helps. Um, but yeah, never been a huge cherry fan, um, which is crazy because Jack, my son, absolutely loves Glacier Cherries. Um, but this smells like Cold Red Mountain Dew. Mm, this, this is gonna be the one. Again, it's a little flat tasting, and I think again that's because of the zero sugar. But that is like an alcoholic cold red Mountain Dew, um, which gives me great feelings towards this because I think that's probably going to taste just like a regular Mountain Dew. But it'll give you a little buzz. And is that really a bad thing? Um, I like that one. I'm still trying to decide if I like it more than I like the watermelon one. We'll come back to it. But first, what should I say last? We're gonna try the original Mountain Dew. That didn't focus, but who cares? Now interesting, that's the first one. That's the first one that didn't really smell like the original drink. I mean, it's, it's a hint. There's a hint there. You can smell like the, the, the lemon lime or whatever's in there, but, but it's all about the taste, isn't it? So. That's awful. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to hate this one. But of the th of the four of them, surprisingly, this is the only one that doesn't taste like what it's supposed to be. And again, I think that's hindered by the fact that it's zero sugar. But it doesn't even taste, it tastes like lemon lime soda um, or fizzy pop from the UK. Um, it doesn't even taste, 
it doesn't taste like Mountain Dew. I, I would have gone for it even if it had tasted a little bit like the UK version of the of Mountain Dew, the Mountain Dew Energy. But it doesn't even do that. It just it's just like a lemon lime drink. And it's very powerful in the lime department. So surprisingly, the original one, I'm gonna have to put in last place. Then I think, in third place, we're gonna go with uh, Baja Blast. And then it's deciding between these two. Which right now is kind of like deciding your favorite child. Because on the one hand, this is basically Code Red Mountain Dew, which was my drink for the longest time. When I lived in the UK, when I'd come on vacation, regular Mountain Dew, Code Red Mountain Dew were the two things that I needed to buy all the time. When I moved to America and found out that I could go to a gas station and get it as a fountain soda whenever I wanted, it was like having all your Christmases at once. That's why I'm the size that I am. Add alcohol to that? I mean, you're just asking for like the greatest thing on the planet. And that's really, really good. However, this comes right out of left field. And it just tastes really, really good. And the thing that's good about that is, I feel like I could drink more of these, which is surprising because as I said before, I couldn't drink a lot. I don't think I could I don't think I would buy it again. The watermelon the regular watermelon watermelon Mountain Dew. Whereas I would probably buy cold red Mountain Dew again. But there's something about this that just kind of I don't know, I can't really put it into words. Like I said, I think you can, there's there's more you can do with this one. Like I said, you freeze this, turn it into a slush or something like that on a summer's day. This is a drink I think you could keep going back to. This is the one that I think, if you got a box of this, you'd be upset only having four. This is tough, it's very tough. But I think, we're gonna put this in second place. I know, it's, believe me, I'm surprised too. That is really good, it's really nice. It tastes exactly like you would want it to. It's a cold red Mountain Dew as far as I'm concerned. It's very, very nice. I, I will probably finish that one tonight. But this, when I thought that this would probably be one of my least favorite ones, I don't know, it's just that, that, excuse me, again, a lot of gas in these uh, fizzy drinks, I, I never learn. Um, but this has just surprised me a lot. Like I'm very surprised by how nice it is, how refreshing it is, and how I would definitely want to drink more of these on a summer's day, which again is being held by the fact that we're in Florida, it's sunny, it's hot. I just feel like I could drink more of these, so. Mountain Dew, hard Mountain Dew watermelon is gonna take my number one. And that's that. So, like I said, if, if I, I've struggled to find these um, in New Hampshire, I did read on the Mountain Dew website um, before doing this that they are um, gonna start distributing them more and you can actually order them online as well. Um, but what I will say is if you're a fan of Mountain Dew and you can get these where um, you are, I definitely think 
you should go and get them. Try them out. People's preferences are going to be different than mine. Like I said, people that like Baja Blast, um, that is a Baja Blast. It's not my favorite flavor, which is why I didn't put it very high. But for people that like Baja Blast, that's probably going to be your favorite because that is exactly what it says on the tin. But let me know in the comments below, which of these four, if you've had these, did you like? Which didn't you like? Um, and yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like. Um, like I said, leave a comment, let me know how we did. If you'd like to see more of these, let us know that as well. Tell us if you want me to go and get something and try it. I'd be happy to try that. Um, but yeah, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.